All right, good afternoon. We've been joined by Kyle Larson, driver of the number 42 McDonald Chevrolet for Chip Ganassi Racing. We'll take questions for Kyle. If you have one, please raise your hand, state your name and affiliation, and we'll get a microphone to you. We'll start off with Kelly. KellyCrownerRacer.com. So, Kyle, if Martinsville is going to be the focus of, of your team, that seems to be the biggest concern going into the next round. What can you, what can the team do between now and then to to get better at a track that's that's been a struggle? Is it simulator time? What exactly can you do to prepare for that to, for that race? Uh, well, honestly, I've tried I've tried the simulator stuff before, and it, for me, it just messes me up more than anything for that place, just because the brakes don't feel as similar as they do to my real car. So, um, I don't know I don't know what else uh, to do to get better. I mean, I, I look at more data leading up to that race than I do for any other track. Um, you know, that track I, I try really hard to be better at, and I, I haven't gotten any better. So um, I don't know. Hopefully we can just – I'm sure, you know, each time we kind of go there with a different setup, and, and hopefully hopefully this time we'll, we'll hit on something. All right. I believe – Jacob, did you have a question? <coughs> Jacob Seelman, Speed Sport. Kyle, uh, looking – here at Talladega specifically, the buzzword back in the spring was closing rate. Now, coming back here for a second time with the same package and practice looked about as crazy as it was back in the spring, how much does knowledge from the spring and kind of knowing how some of those closing rates of the draft works help, you know, make this a little easier than it was when you were going in blind back in April? Well, yeah, we, we got to race Daytona also uh, with this package, so um, I think we understand it all a little bit more um, than the first time around here earlier this season. So, um, yeah, you know, we got a little bit of drafting there in practice. Uh, you know, the, at least for the one that I was in, you know, the Chevys, we all just kind of stayed in line. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't gotten to, you know, we really won't even, I don't even think we'll draft next practice. But um, so, you know, I won't get to go out there and, you know, bob and weave uh, until the race but um yeah it, it it's definitely the closing rates are definitely a lot higher and it seems you know like people's cars handle a little bit better than your old package so i think you know that's why you see much more aggressive style um plate racing now or i guess this isn't plate racing anymore but um yeah it's just aggressive okay we'll continue with questions from lee and then matt lee spencer racingboys.com a um, couple quick questions. Can you take us through the sensation or what was going through your mind prior to ending up in your on your lid in the spring here? Just you know, can you? How do you prepare for that moment? Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, I came off two, and I was you know had you know I think William or somebody had gotten sideways and gotten into me, and yeah, I was just preparing myself to. Uh, hit the wall head on, which, you know, I've done that a lot and, uh, just try and brace yourself and, and hope it doesn't hurt. And then, uh, all of a sudden I started to feel my car kind of come up. So then, yeah, I just was hoping that it was going to get down, uh, before I hit the wall. But, um, yeah. And then, yeah, I don't know, you're just sliding and, and flipping and, and I knew I was close to the inside wall, close to the fence, all that. So I was just hoping I wasn't going to flip into the fence cause then it would get, you know, who knows what could happen after that. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I flipped a lot, so it's, uh, it was, it was just, it was more different than, you know, flipping in a sprint car because, you know, you're going so much faster and it just happens longer. Um, but you know, it, it, uh, it, it hurt equally as bad as a <laughs> sprint car. So it just, it just took longer. And looking forward to next week, you finished eighth at Kansas in the spring. What do you think you've learned with the intermediate package here that will help you when you, you get to Kansas? Not that you need to run well there, but, you know, I'm sure there's still a sense of pride in finishing well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we could go we could go there and win. Um, our, our cars are better than where they were earlier in the year, and I felt like Kurt and I both were really fast then. So, um yeah, I mean, I, I always look forward to getting to Kansas, but especially, you know, a daytime race um, helps helps me out. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, – I don't know, though. It's it we, we should be good, hopefully. You never really know what to expect until you get there, but uh, I look forward to it. All right, Matt. 
Matt Weaver Auto Week. I know it's still early in the development of the 2021 Next Gen Cup car, but Austin turned the first real track laps at Richmond earlier this week. How much did you kind of monitor that, look at the car, and are there certain things in that car that you feel like are important that you would like to see added or the way it would drive? Uh, I didn't monitor it really at all um i was i was busy this week so i didn't i didn't follow along with how it went i know he texted there's a, a lot of us drivers that he texted and said it was it was fun to drive so um i honestly don't even know what <laughs> what all is in in that car or off that car or, or you know just any of the changes i've made um it uh i'm gonna drive whatever they whatever we or nascar produces so um it, it doesn't it doesn't matter to me it, you know it looks you know there were some cool unique things on there that hopefully make the cars handle a little bit better and traffic and things like that but uh i i don't i don't know if uh if it'll work or, or what so i'm anxious to get my own laps in it uh in the future i'm sure it'll be sometime next year so we'll see but uh, change is good sometimes and um you know the car definitely looks more modern so you know maybe that'll um you know probably make some older fans upset but probably you know hopefully attract some newer fans too okay i believe zach do you have a question zach albert nascar.com kyle um what we saw in the spring was a lot of teamwork by chevrolet to you know kind of turn back some of what Ford had been doing in terms of their dominance here. Um, do we expect the same uh, come Sunday in terms of, you know, manufacturers working together? And is that hard to do, though, when you're out there kind of in the heat of a pack? Yeah, so um, when we were in here at Talladega early in the year, you know, it was just RCR, uh, Ganassi, and Hendrick working together. So there was eight of us. And um, yeah, I felt like we were able to kind of control – our race um and then daytona you we had more uh chevys committed and and i felt like it made it a little bit tougher to to do just because the line was longer um so it was harder to stay committed to the guy in front of you if you were 14th in line or something so um i don't know if, you know how many teams will have committed to it uh this weekend but um it is nice either way you know whether it's eight or, or all of us um it is nice to to know you have commitment from you know, the guys around you all right additional questions for kyle okay we'll come up front <clears throat> grant davis wljs 91.9 jacksville you mentioned that, that you've tried the simulator and it didn't help you at martinsville is there any other tracks where you've used the simulator and it has been very helpful has yeah um yeah i mean i think i think any time i've been there and, and done like a road course um it helps uh with with uh, more elevation kind of things and stuff like that, um, but uh, it's tough. You know, we're st we're still Chevy's still, and Pratt Miller is still developing it and trying to make it better and more realistic. So um, it's not where it needs to be. But uh, every time we go in there, we try to try to give our input to to make little changes to make it better. So, um, but yeah, I would say road courses are probably the the ones that that I benefit the most from. All right, we'll take one final question from Jacob in the back. Follow-up uh, unrelated to your stock car exploits, Kyle. Uh, recently uh, came out on social media that you're going to be running um, or confirm the entry for the Hangtown 100 at Placerville, um, and it looks like that's going to be your own midget program as opposed to uh, what you've done with uh, Keith Coons in the past. Uh, talk a little bit about that and just the anticipation of uh, putting all that together. Yeah, I've ran... I've ran my own midget now twice. Um, yeah, I've ran for Keith for so long, and, and you've had a lot of success with him and a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm at the point in my career where you know, I own my own sprint car, so why not own my own midget? Um, you know, not that I'm owning it for other people to race, but uh, you know, I, I, I just it's just fun. It's kind of midget racing just seems a little more low key than, than sprint car racing. And, um, you know, I, I thought it'd be a fun project. You know, Paul Silva's never worked on a midget before. So he had a lot of fun building that car. He said it was the nicest car he's ever built. Um, so yeah, we got the chance to race Placerville two times already, uh, this year when the outlaws were there, we won. And then, um, when, uh, we ran some week long speed week thing, uh, I ran there and, and won also. So I'm just trying to, 
trying to get laps on it, learn what we can. You know, it's a totally different um, package than what Keith runs. Uh, different chassis, different shocks, um, wheels. I mean, every everything's different. So, you know, I think it's a fun, fun kind of venture to try and beat him with. All right, Kyle, we appreciate you hustling in here after practice, and we wish you the best of luck this weekend. Thank you.